Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I wanted to do a video on the best players in every position in the current MLB in 2021. So let's just quit the bowl and let's get started. So first base I have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here I chose Vlad simply because he is outshining the other first baseman. He's been ahead of the pack since the season started and is a franchise player for the Blue Jays. You can make the case for Freddie Freeman here, but Vlad is doing the same and just better in most stats. Him and Otani have been battling for the home run champion and it's just not close for the other first baseman. Moving on, this might be a little controversial, but for second base I have Jose Altuve of the Houston Astros. So this was a tough one. I'm giving it to Altuve because of the lack of strikeouts. Sure, his average isn't as high, but when you look at the production, it's just it just can't be matched. When looking at RBIs, home runs, hits, and many other stats, it's hard to argue. I could see a case for Marcus Simeon, but Altuve has 40 less strikeouts, and that in itself can equate to better fundamental play and moving the offense on the field with things like sack flies and other ways. That plays a big part. Striking out means that you're not putting the ball in play, and I think the value has diminished with how the game is played now with home runs and launch angles. You just need someone to put the ball in play, and when you're looking at Altuve and Simeon, it seems like Jose is just doing a, doing a slightly better job. Moving on to third base, I have Manny Machado of the San Diego Padres. Now, he was a good player in Baltimore. Um, he's getting overshadowed by Fernando Tatis, but hey. This one could easily be switched for someone like Rafael Devers up in Boston, who I am keen to. I'm a, I'm a big Red Sox fan myself. But I gave it to Manny because he has less strikeouts. Manny has six less RBIs, but over 30 less strikeouts. And that's a big deal when you're talking about putting the ball in play. They're both gr on great teams, and I'm sure that has something to do with it, but Manny has just been a touch more efficient, and that goes back to the just putting the ball in play, getting the ball out there, if it's sacrificing, if it's moving a runner, if it's a pop fly, things like that. It's just putting the ball in play is a big, big deal, and I don't think um, a lot of people are paying attention to those stats. Shortstop is Bo Bichetti, and I apologize if I'm butchering the name, but this is simple. Just better numbers. He's done more and played more games. Tatis could have been here, but he just hasn't played enough. I know he's been dealing with some injuries, but he has a good average and better numbers than a lot of the other shortstops. In left field, we have Jesse Winker, or Winker, however you want to pronounce it. The same situation here with Jesse, just overall better numbers in all the categories. Cincinnati is a surprisingly good team and could make a race for the wild card. I believe they're four or four and a half games back. There's no doubt Jesse has been a cornerstone of their success and Joey Votto is getting hot at the right time. I always thought Joey Votto was kind of that player that seemed he had all the talent but just never could put it together in long stretches but he's been having a pretty good season you could look at players like alex verdugo or michael brantley but jesse is is leading in runs hits and is top three for rbis you just can't argue with that kind of production for center field we have cedric mullins cedric mullins is my pick here he's leading so many categories Yes, the Orioles are a bad team, but for how individuals go, this guy is the real deal. The best part is with every season he's playing, he's just getting better and better. Let's hope Baltimore gets better before he wants to leave for a better team, i.e. Manny Machado. Brian Reynolds is also a player. If you don't know who that is, you should. Yes, the Pirates are, again, a bad team, but this is a young star and a first-time National League All-Star this season. They're both great players, but Cedric is just leading in so many other things that I just had to give it to him. Right field, Nick Cassianos, and I apologize if I'm butchering the name. Now, 
he again is on Cincinnati. It's a good surprising team. Typically with a team like this, you expect trash play and just to kind of forget about it. Now, if Ronald Acuna of the Braves didn't go down, I think he would be the clear winner here for right field. That guy was having an MVP season. He was hitting home runs. He was he was becoming, in such a short amount of time, the face of the entire league. Um, I give the edge to Nick because of the batting average. The numbers for the top couple guys are about the same, but he's hitting over 319 for an average. And it's just crazy. He's changing the team's season and the franchise. The guy is just getting a base. There's really not much to say. Hitting for a 319 average and this late into the season, it that speaks volumes for anybody out there. Now, last but certainly not least is catcher. And I have JT Real Muto of the Philadelphia Phillies. I think this is the clear winner. He's the highest paid catcher and is a huge part of the Phillies and how their season is going. I personally am a Phillies fan. I watch a lot of the games. Catchers are so valuable because of their dynamic relationships with pitchers and controlling the flow of the game. Yes, Salvador Perez has 30 home runs, but 40 more strikeouts. JT just gets on base and works better with his pitching staff than Perez. Here, it's about your numbers, but also how you play the position and the relationship with, with the pitchers, which is so important for a catcher, how they work the batters and how the offense, how the defense lines up, and JT's just a good player. What do you guys think about these rankings? Of course, these are my own personal opinion. I would love to know other people's opinions and where do you have certain guys in, in your top spots for the positions? Make sure to let us know in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time.